I've created a new post process volume that holds 15 post process materials to demonstrate the variety that can be achieved with what we've covered in this course. The materials can be found in the materials option folder within the post process folder. By merely copying and pasting the shader code into various combinations, we can get a wide variety of post process materials that we can combine to get unique results. These looks are just a few examples of what can be achieved by experimenting with the post process materials we've developed. So let's say we want our outlines to render on our characters and the base color to render on everything. We get something that looks like this. Or maybe we don't want the base color on everything. So if we turn that off and then we turn on the graphic lights just on the characters. Let's go back to the beginning of the sequence and let's adjust some of the colors on the characters. Maybe we have like a blue shadow a little bit and maybe there's a little bit of a warmer green in the lighter areas, and then let's actually get more light on there. And then we can get something that removes the characters a bit more from the environment. Let's bring this back to the beginning of the sequence and turn that off, turn off the graphic lights on the characters, and instead let's put the painterly effect on the environment. And then let's also put the outlines on the environment. And maybe we change the color to something that's like a warm red that kind of goes with that mood a little bit more. Maybe something like that. We get a totally different look there. Or maybe we turn off the lines on the environment and then we change the color of the dark area to something that's like a, a blue. And then we also turn on the painterly effect on the characters. And then we turn the lines also onto the characters. And now we have something that's even more removed from reality. Or perhaps we turn off the painterly effect on the characters and on the environment as well as the lines on the characters. And then let's turn on the light color bands on the environment and then the lines back on the environment. But instead of red lines, let's make them something ghostly, like a blue or something like that. Something like that. In all of the looks I've developed, the materials and geometry have not changed. They're the same as they were at the start of the course. The looks are all created at render time using the custom post-process materials I've created. The post-process materials have been enabled through the post-process volumes blendables array.